how strong is Taiwan if it does come to a military or other kind of attack from any other nation towards Taiwan? Yeah, missile defense capability is already within top three of the world. Absolutely. Of the world, okay? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, the density of Taiwan's defense capability. I know MND doesn't want to talk about it that much, but if you know the numbers, the Taiwan has a significant air yeah, missile defense capability. Well, what is this based on? And what will be required well, to actually launch this invasion? If they want to succeed, not just attacking but taking over Taiwan. As a military economy, you want to focus all your strength in the center of gravity so that you can complete the fight quickly, like yeah. we did in the Gulf War, okay? Dragging it out is not the way to win a war. For China to do that, like Topher said, they will have to mass forces, and that mass will be discovered. And during the strategic warning time, coalition forces who doesn't want to see Taiwan falling into the communist hands will be forward. So, I mean, like it would be like a, a geographic difference in in the Chinese troops, or, or like how, oh, yeah. how how will we see this like yeah. more more concrete? You start to see a lot more amphibious assault ships being built. These are from land landing craft ships, and although they do have a lot, they don't have nearly enough to bring enough soldiers that would be needed to invade the war. But you know what? They have increased a rollo ship. The ship that's rolled on and rolled off, like they bring Mercedes Benz to Taiwan. The giant, ferry. giant ferry ships that's civilian looking. And if you look at the recent exercise during the past two years, they have loaded their tanks and stuff. And those ships, they, when they offload, they can offload a couple hundred tanks, six, ten thousand people at the same time. Yeah. And these ships, ship, one ship, one it's ship, huge they, they, the world's fastest and largest low row ship because to China. And they are building low row ships like there's no tomorrow. Those low row ships are great at moving a lot of equipment to a secure point, trying to do something in the combat. Well, that, that's another thing. That's the last Hang One exercise yeah. this year, because I think the US, we have seen this as one of the most dangerous scenario is, you look at Taipei Port, you know okay. what Taipei Port is? It's a roller port. Yeah. That's where all the cars come in. The space, they can go seven, eight roller ships at a time, and they have three exits. And from that, they have Highway 64 that goes straight into Taipei. And if a portion of it goes next to Danshu River in Bali area, they secure Danshu River, those air cushion ships can go right into Taipei. I think China, in order to achieve that kind of victory, of quickly strike and get the victory before other countries can help, they need to capture Taiwan's political leader and have somebody. If the president's dead, maybe somebody that they have installed previously to clear, okay, stop fighting, we give up, Taiwan give up. This is a very dangerous scenario. That's why I think they, they, they're building the railroad ship because yeah. they, they want to be able to quickly take over. And how do they take over the port? If you look at Taipei port area, how many areas can land in the campus? They have huge grass fields. They have huge areas Areas where parachute can come. I suspect if they want to capture that port, low-level helicopters will come in because helicopters can fly low, fast, and drop 20, 30 people at a time. They just need a couple of thousand people to help secure the port, prevent uh, reinforcement coming in. And uh, these roller ships can be just on the territorial water of Taiwan because they're civilian looking. 17 nautical miles away, 12 is the limit. They can be there in 30 minutes, 40 minutes, and within an hour they're offloading. Of course, Taiwan exercised this, right. and, and, and uh, I suspect that if necessary, they'll destroy the port and not, not allow the ships to offload. But uh, it is a dangerous scenario. What if Taiwan cannot secure the port, destroy the port? And then it becomes a big issue. Taiwan has a lot of spies in China, and the satellite intelligence to be able to pick up all the military movements onto these ships. You know, the U.S. and Taiwan are watching these ferries, these giant rolling oh, yeah. ferries. So any sort of suspicious movement, I'm going to give everybody a heads up. And keep in mind, if these ships are loaded with tanks that are prepared for combat, they're already over they're already full of fuel. If one of these ships is hit by a harpoon missile, oh, yeah. or even just a drone strike that has like white phosphorus that can just burn through, burn through the armor and ignite one of the vehicles in the it can cause a really vicious chain reaction. The, the danger is because it's civilian looking. Yeah. You can hit them beforehand. So you can certainly target them after the first missile strike or after the mm -hmm. first uh, cyber attack uh, against Taiwan. Any yeah. type of uh, action that's considered at the war, yeah. then they become legitimate targets. And then at this point, you look at Chinese has the largest navy, 350 ships. You know, Kanko Giving is a little tiny area. And what do we call that? Target rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's target rich, right? It's you just target rich environment. Target yeah. rich environment. So so I you know, I don't know the war plan for now. I mean I just can see I see the, the preposition of stuff. Any military attempts against Taiwan would almost certainly end in failure.
I agree. Yeah, yeah. Because it's a huge if they do anything in Hollow Island, the next step is Taiwan. Mm-hmm. That that gives the, the rest of the world time to prepare to come to help Taiwan. So it doesn't do China anything. If they do Hollow Island first, they can Taiwan because no. the forces will be deployed, coalition forces will be so deployed that they can touch Taiwan. And if they do take the Outer Islands, they will trigger just a huge round of sanctions. Sanctions, exactly. Yeah. And the uh, economic sanction, often sanction plus the military give the rest of the world time to deploy troops or deploy attack Taiwan. So that Taiwan dreams over. Yeah, yeah. The idea of trying to make that a quick war vanishes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, gone. It, it, it's gone. So it would be a drastic mistake. Mm-hmm. On the other hand, can they use the influence campaign, information campaign, yeah. to have the people in Jinmen vote to become China? This is the real threat. That's the real threat. Yeah, this is the real because threat. Because it's a democracy. Yeah, the propaganda using the, your enemy's tools against itself. Yeah. So, so would they use military against uh, Jinmen? Uh, I don't think so. That is very stupid. Even Xi Jinping, uh, as crazy as he is, he would do that. But I think he would certainly try to use information campaign. Uh, right now, they're already doing it. Actually, convincing those people in Jinmen and Mazu that they like to put depends on China and they're better off with China. And the funny thing is, 30, 40 years ago, Jinmen was the most anti-communist region. They are filled with the military and the descendants. And in 1958, they fought a war in Jinmen, and the Chinese lost. They tried to take, take, take Jinmen. So the memory of those things have kept Jinmen as the most anti-communist. But in recent times, the result of the economic integration and certainly information warfare, and some of the people in Jinmen might might disagree with me. But from what I can see, there are more and more people in Jinmen that are pro-China now. In your opinion, the reality of the capability of the PLA to conquer Taiwan? Oh, they're they're far from it. They have a lot of missiles, airplanes, ships, and uh, their hardware is untested. People are the other part of the fighting capability, and the exercise partner has been the Russians. And you see how Russians did in Ukraine. Taiwan is free, like United States, there's freedom of speech, freedom of press. So a lot of pro-China media here uh, mm-hmm. that tight, tighten the, the threat of the, the Chinese military. The fact is, uh, no, it's not that bad. They constantly talk about the 1,000, 600, 2,000. Oh, the, uh, the, the missiles. Yeah. Uh, but the fact is, they only have less than 600 launchers. What percentage will actually work? Right. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay, let's say they launch 90% of it. Okay, 540 missiles. Let's say take off. Right, the other 1,000 something is waiting to be reloaded in their depots. The fact is, after that first shot, those depots are dead because they can't move those depots. They're fixed targets, and Taiwan has ability to hit those targets. Second of all, let's say 540 missiles get up in the air toward Taiwan. How many actually will hit its target? Because you don't have to support. The system, such as Patriot and PK3, anti-missile systems, they can see. Okay, this one's going to hit a fish pond. The one's going to hit your bases and stuff. You might intercept. So let's say they miss it and it hits. Okay, it makes a crater um, 20 wide and debris falls around 60 meters. How many of those craters you have to create to slow Taiwan down in its defense capability? There's just not enough missiles. While all these pro-China media try to say how. Oh, Taiwan, everyone's gonna die if the war starts. No, far from it.、Uh, Taiwan has one of the world's most robust defense system, and they, not only the hardware and the, and the software that was getting trained from U.S. military trainers that come here and that's no secret. You know, you know, Taiwan has the tremendous command control system, robust, redundant. The unclassified name of the system is called Shenan. Every things that Taiwan. Purchased since 20 years ago has to be able to link to that command control system. So it's survivable because it's redundant, it's widespread, and it's, it's a multi-domain because it's not just based on some point rockets. It's, it's using different methods. So the, the fog of war、right. doesn't slow Taiwan down in its defense. So they're gonna have a hard time. Don't think China can so easily attack Taiwan as many people have、uh, said.